What up, what up, what up? You listening to Two Live Radio on WOUB. I'm your host, Young Vita Problem. And it's your girl, Tata. What's going on, everybody? Nice to see you back. <laughs> Be nasty. Who, who you seeing right now, Tata? <laughs> I'm looking at you. <laughs> well, everybody, are you talking to an audience right now? <laughs> right, anyway. but they not here. I'm just saying. Anyway. But, you know, how was your weekend? My weekend, my weekend was straight. Veteran, it was Veterans Day, right? You talking about Veterans Day weekend? Yeah. It was, it was straight. It was low key, man. It wasn't, you know. I ain't you you ain't do too much. I ain't do too much. I should have went out of town for real, for real. I thought about it, but okay. I didn't. Yeah. What about you? <laughs> I heard, the, you heard you had the birthday turn up, right? Yeah, that's right. The non-existent turn up. Oh, uh, you gonna put, you gonna <laughs> say that on the radio like yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. All right, that's cool. I'll take that. But that's 22. all I'm gonna say. That's how it that's be. That's all I'm I told y'all I'm not 22. I'm 21 again. Don't lie to the people. Anyway, anyway, <laughs> we got some special guests today. As promised, tell them who we got in the we studio. We got um, today. two football players. We got Jamil Shaw and Xavier uh -huh. Hughes. Okay, so what's up, y'all? What's, what's, what's up, y'all? What's good? Y what's good? <laughs> So tell the people a little bit about yourself. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm Jamil from uh, Alexandria, Virginia. Uh, communications major, and uh, I play corner here on the team. Okay. I'm um, Xavier. I'm from Silver Spring, Maryland. I play uh, safety, and I'm a recreation manager. Major. Okay. So I know that this is a question. We're going to get right into it. Y'all already know what it is. They gonna grill y'all a little <laughs> bit. Don't go I'm not grilling. No, 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 no. I know athletes want to get this out. A lot of people be trying to trying to front on y'all and say, "Oh man, athletes got it easy. They don't got to do nothing." Da da da. So let's let's put all this all this back and forth to rest. Tell us all that. Tell <laughs> us what is a day in the life like. Tell us off season, on season. Tell us something. First of all, that's that's crazy because I trade places with anybody. That Any one of y'all. Okay. But uh. I mean, a typical day, I mean, it's in season and out of, out of season. Like, in season, you know, you wake up, go to all your classes, all the classes in the morning. Then uh, at some point throughout the day, you got to get a lift in. We got, like, four times. We got, like, uh, seven, nine, 11, and uh, one. Yeah, so get your get your lift in. And then okay. uh, after that, we got meetings, watching basically what you did yesterday. Then after meetings, you got practice. Practice will last till about six. Then after that, you gotta find some time to eat. Then you got study hall, it's a mandatory study hall at that. And y'all oh, study, wow. y'all study in there, right? Yeah, she ain't no choice. All right, all right, keep going, keep going. And then uh, after that, I mean, by the time you leave the stadium, it'd be like eight, nine o'clock, and you'd be tired as hell. I mean, tired as hell. You know, you just got done running around all day. Okay. And then, same thing tomorrow. Hold on, hold on. So what time did you say you get home? Technically nine, nine. we yeah, get around nine. nine, but and then about nine, y'all be it's time to lay it down, right? Because it's it been I mean, a long but you got yeah, you got to ease your mind a little bit too. Okay. When you get home. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying. Okay. Relax a little. You got to you got to find time for yourself. So, <laughs> okay, so y'all days end at nine o'clock, and then y'all rest, and then start back over. It's repetitive. Yeah, you do the same good. day every day. Same that's thing every day. Every day. They might start. Some days might start at like five thirty though. And then, like, your classes, like, can you skip or do your coaches, like, no? Your or? coach will be at the dope. At the dope. Oh, you miss actually, that, you run it. Actually, oh, yes, I work at the, at the Academic Advancement Center, and they got a class down there, and the coach came, and they're like, I'm trying to see who in here. Yeah, oh, man. He posted man, up man, at no the front. I was like, man, it's uh, like that. He was like, yeah, blah, 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 yada, yada, you know? It ain't the gang then. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That's your spot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> so... That was off season and on season. No, no, no. What's off season? season? What's off season? What's oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell us the other one. Oh yeah, good. All season, all season, we we get more free time, you know, but that's more of a, a grind for us, preparing for the next year. So like, okay, we got to keep our mind focused on like the books, so we can be eligible and trying to get bigger and faster, stronger, stuff like that. Man makers, man makers. That six o'clock morning workouts for y'all people who think we don't be doing nothing. You know, okay, getting up at five thirty <laughs> in, in, in the snow, rain, sleep. sleep. Okay, man, we out there on the field. We don't got no indoor. You see, it's just getting built now. Dang. So we be so, out here just working. So y'all y'all practice competing, and, and even in the winter time. In the winter in the time, winter we outside time. on oh, the snow, wow. snow. Wow. So, what do y'all do in y'all free time? That's okay to say on the radio. Ah <laughs> 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 uh, man, like you know, we, we, you know what I'm saying? We gamble, you know what I'm saying? You gamble. Do you uh, some dice every now and then? Do y'all go uptown? 
every yeah, other time. We be at the bars. I know we see y'all out sometimes, but that's the <laughs> only time we actually get to go out and do things is mm -hmm. when y'all when y'all see it. So y'all be like, oh, mm -hmm. we don't do nothing. Nah, it's just that we be busy. Okay. And then like I know y'all just had a game on Tuesday, right? How that how those like middle of the week games work for y'all? Cause oh, that's yeah. like uh, y'all get excused from class? Yeah. No. I mean, we <laughs> yeah, still like, get unexcused absence, bro. Right. My it teacher, my teacher, teacher, matter of fact, my teacher last Wednesday, she she uh she ain't give me credit for being she ain't give me she ain't give me credit for being in class. On the day we got back, we ain't get back till four o'clock in the morning. Oh wow. Class <laughs> start at nine. Wow. They, they want us there though. Dang. Okay. Dang. Wow. Okay, so you're saying that the teachers are not lenient. Because this is what I thought. I thought, I said, man, how do they miss all these days? I be thinking like, wow, the coaches. Never mind. <laughs> nah, it ain't right. Nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, I already catch it. Ohio. Like, it's not Ohio State. It's not Ohio State. It's <laughs> OU. Not OSU. <laughs> all right, man. So we're going to take a break. And when we come back, we got some more questions for y'all. <laughs> Two Live Radio, we are back. And so y'all been to a couple bowl games, right? <clears throat> right, right. Oh. Four bowl games. So what was y'all favorite bowl game? <laughs> New Orleans. Hands down. Hands down. New Orleans. Hands, Hands down. down. Have you been down there? <laughs> hey, New Orleans got a lot of flavor That's my down My family there. down there from down there. A lot of like, New Orleans is always, yeah, it's always a good time. So what went down? Time. Tell us about it. Man. Y'all get on Bourbon Street? Yeah, we stayed on Bourbon Street. Stayed on Bourbon Street. On Bourbon Street. <laughs> now what y'all was just telling me before we came back on about... We should have came down there, cause what? Man, it was it was forty dollars for for people to come down there. Yeah. And, and you got a free trip. Forty dollars for OU students to come down. You there. stayed in a better I hotel. About, I would have been there. Stayed in a better hotel. Been there. And got some food. And they ain't got, got to get food. in the game for free. Dang. Got to get in the game free. All that. And it wasn't a lot of people down there. It was, yeah, it it was, was a lot. It was a lot of white people. people. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Oh, yeah. 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 So black and there were no black students. Yeah. But y'all could have had a free trip to New Orleans. Free trip. Look at it as that. I mean, you had to go to the game for real. Yeah. Yeah, I think that was that was y'all what sophomore year. Freshman, yeah, sophomore. That was y'all sophomore year. year. That was my freshman year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I kind of I remember that bowl game actually. I really do remember. What that. um like when y'all was getting recruited? Like what other schools were y'all looking at? And what made y'all like choose OU like over all them other ones? Um well me I had uh pretty much pretty much every school in the MAC so like Kent State, uh, Akron, Bowling Green, uh, Temple was that was actually my my first school the school I really wanted to go to. Mm -hmm. And then here, and then I had a uh, Vanderbilt, and then a couple of ACC schools. But uh, I wanted to just come here. First, they kind of tricked me, man. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Sure I first came here, like I was on my visit, went to a party. It was a whole rack of black people, seeing all the all the girls in that joint. I'm like, damn. It was it was, was an like, it was a uh, ice breaker. Ice breaker. Yeah, oh, like okay. We came down here, man. Yeah. Was y'all on the same recruiting trip? No, 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 oh, no, no. Okay. no. Oh, he, was, he was a week after me, I'm, oh, I think. Yeah. He was a week after me, but man, I was here on the opening weekend, so like it was, it was nothing but parties when I came here. So I was like, yeah. man, this joint crazy. Like, <laughs> we got, I ain't yeah. never seen nothing like this. What about you, guys? What uh, other schools was you like looking at before, like, and what made you pick up? Uh, oh, I had, I had the whole Mac too. Mm -hmm. uh, I had Michigan State, West Virginia, uh, a couple of little ACC schools, like he was saying, but. Uh, mm -hmm. I chose to come here. Basically, pretty much my mom and my father, they wanted me to get away from the city. Yeah, yeah. Stay in like a little urban mm -hmm. area so where I could focus, not knowing that this was one of the craziest schools to come from. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, oh yeah. But, <laughs> but I mean, yeah, it's pretty much made my decision. And, and, and Solich, he got he got some pull up in the MAC, especially. So, mm -hmm. like, yeah, if I was going to go in the MAC, that's where I was going to come here. Yeah, yeah. Or Temple, okay. yeah, like he said. That's, that's what's up. How have you, like, how's y'all, like, overall college experience been, though? Like, not just as football players, but what have y'all found the culture? The crazy. <laughs> crazy. <laughs> memories, man. That's all I'm going to say. Yeah. I have endless memories that I know. How do y'all think our school is compared to other schools that y'all have visited before? Like, what's what's the difference? What's the difference? Like, what? Like, 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 I always compare, like, here in Temple. Like, like, Temple... Temple, I feel like is just like this school, like as far as parties, but it's city. like in the city. So yeah. you know that's it's what like you're used to. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm saying saying more and more and more okay. colored people. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Us, you know? <laughs> oh, you is like we're like our own little bubble for right. real. Yeah. It's like nothing oh, like here but us. Yeah, yeah. Like, so like, it's like just talking about it's like a movie or a game. Not too much to care about in Athens. Like you can get away with a lot of stuff. It is real carefree down here. Drinking, driving, stuff like that. You're not gonna do that too much. You can walk through the streets whenever too. Yeah, leave your door unlocked. Yeah, leave your door unlocked. Leave your wallet. At the bar, yeah. nigga, we're gonna come return it yeah. to you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know yeah, actually, yeah, all that can happen in Atmosphere. You can literally leave your whole wallet 
put your in your phone and everything, and they be like, it's back here. Just come back up here. I ain't gonna try that experiment. Out. <laughs> I, I mean, leave, I would straight up. Leave, <laughs> <laughs> oh man. So, if if y'all weren't athletes, what do y'all think? y'all be doing like as far as um on campus oh, like is wow. there anything that y'all wanted to do and was like i don't have no time to do that because i'm an athlete like is oh. there anything that you're interested it's in that you, like what i plan events you know I plan was events? That, uh, oh my org the black student culture yeah, program yeah, yeah. I, I, was it, i think we asked you about that yeah we actually but it ain't never shaped for us you know what i'm saying no but, yeah yeah because it is kind of we do meet a lot and do a lot of events and stuff but, so that is fun. that's what exactly what we would do okay yes they do so, I don't know what y'all plan to do like after college, but if you say if you really wanted to be a pro uh, football player, if you weren't a pro uh, football player, what would y'all be doing? Like what occupation? Or what do you, you want to do? Like what's mm -hmm. like something else you want to do after you like retire from football, whatever? Uh, like me, like me, I, I want to uh, get into like open. A, I want to open a training facility. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, help young kids. You know, try to bring them through. Try to help somebody else get yeah. to them the same place I got. Yeah, so that's what I want to do. I, I want to own my own event planning company, you know what I'm saying, throwing these country mm -hmm. concerts, getting that money, you know what I'm saying? Hey, <laughs> move to Nashville, I'm, man, that's where the, that's hey, the country capital of the world. Yeah, I'm, I'm there. Yeah, that's okay. what's up. <laughs> country music, though, that'd be... That's, that's where the money is. They do get live, though, man. they get down, yeah. Hey, yeah. I bet they do get down. All right, well, let's take But uh, we're going to take a quick music break, and then we'll be right back. All right, two live radio. We back, and um, yeah. so I got a question for Jamil and Xavier. Like before mm -hmm. games, like what type of music y'all listen to, or what, yeah, what, what artists y'all artist? listen to? Cause I know y'all from DC, so I know some artists from around y'all area that y'all mm -hmm. probably listen to. So it's pretty much all we do listen to. You know what I'm saying? People around our way can we relate to them and get us hype. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Better than most people can. Now y'all introduced me to Fat Trail. And um and Boosa the shooter. <laughs> Boosa. I like Boosa, Boosa the shooter. Yeah. Um, so tell us about them. Y'all listen to them? All day. Very okay, day. so y'all yeah. like to turn up to that. Fat Trail, game. matter of fact, Fat Trail just got on with MMG. Like two days ago. Really? Yeah. 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 Making moves out here. And so they all oh, they both from DC then? Yeah. Both, okay. Yeah. What about Boosa the shooter? Did he get on? Yeah, no. He a shooter. He a real shooter, man. He a shooter. He both that rapping life. Yeah, I see y'all. <laughs> y'all like to make dancing videos in the locker room and stuff too. <laughs> y'all dance a lot. I saw one. I saw one. Yeah. Hey, you see, you see, you see, you see, see this man dancing. Yeah, I done yeah. see y'all on Vine getting y'all shit on. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh. like, what type of stuff? Okay, so on the long no bus rides, though. When it's a long bus ride, y'all don't slow it down and listen to the no R&B. <laughs> If you riding through some, the country, some some people do like Tim Adams. You can see Tim. Shout out my man Tim. Nah, man, he know. He no, know yeah, him. Tim coming class yeah. singing though. Yeah, yeah, Tim yeah, yeah, class singing yeah. like John. You catch him listening to some John. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Catch him listening to some slow jazz every now and then. I might, I might listen to some Joe Budden. That's about as slow as I'm gonna get. Joe Budden. Yeah, about as slow as I'm gonna get. Okay. So y'all keep it in the the R and B and the hip hop. Y'all don't yeah. do no other genres, no country. No, 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 no. You gotta listen to some rock before. I was gonna say, Just yeah, a little bit, like yeah. some ACDC. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay. Turn you up yeah. one time. Okay, so, speaking of artists, who was your artist as a woman crush Wednesday? Did you say Melanie Fiona, right? Can I say it for my, for the people? <laughs> Melanie Fiona, shout out to her. She, 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 she this week's Women Crush Wednesday. Last week it was me alone. Okay. <laughs> Melanie Fiona. <laughs> Melanie Too Fiona bad is women. really yeah. cute. Bad. Too mm -hmm. bad. B-A-D, capital. Can't yeah. go wrong. All capital. But yeah. So what, what about y'all? Y'all have one? What? Who would you say? Like who would who would be y'all's woman crush Wednesday? Joe that was Button easy. girl, what's her name? Oh <laughs> Tahiri? Tahiri, yeah. yeah Tahiri. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cold food. Yeah. <laughs> Tahiri. Okay. Man, Keisha Cole, man. Keisha Cole, y'all are so uh, funny, man. Keisha Cole goodness. and Tahiri? Yes. Wow. Okay. There's something That's sexy about her voice. Keisha cool. Cole. It's, Keisha Cole. With the gap, though. Yeah, with, with the gap. With the gap. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Way better with I don't want it without the gap. You don't want it without the gap. Okay, so, so what can y'all say about what's the climate between the athletes and the and the women here, any kind of women. What's the kind of and, and, and dispel any stereotypes y'all hear about this is athletes. A, dispel the stereotypes. Oh, totally it's black women. Like, you know. It's always a debate about that. When we came in, we heard that. The, the black girls will first say, like the older black girls will tell the incoming freshmen, don't mess with no athletes, they ain't about nothing, yes. don't do this. That's true? Yes. Oh that's man, crazy. see that's, like, that's step like, one right there. Like, uh, that, that's crazy, like, like why would you, why well, would you do that? <laughs> 
Mm. Apparently, it's a stigma, though. Yeah, so, you know what I'm yeah, yeah. Apparently, like you can't go off of old, old. You know what I'm saying? People let people express themselves about for themselves. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like let them do them. You know? That is true. That does happen, though. Yeah, some and certain people is different than us. Cycle, <laughs> but I'm saying <laughs> you do have to give over it. You do be having to say that. But um, like so. <laughs> All right, I'm saying like. <laughs> So the climate though, y'all hear y'all always hear girls say like, oh the athletes. Because for me, I would say like, I used to think like, well for the parties and black events, y'all wouldn't be represented there a lot. So it'd be like, oh dang, they don't like they don't like black girls or black people. We be there. Yeah. But it y'all do be yeah I notice that now. But I think it's also like y'all schedule. Y'all have to be gone a lot of weekends. Right. So a lot of the times y'all can't be at the events and stuff like that. So that's a kind of stereotype. Then like myth too. It'd it be like some people that just feel like they're not wanted there either too. Okay. So yeah. So you feel like it'd it be it's kind of oh, like hostility man. on both ends. Right. When we go to an event, say like. Y'all throwing something, and we uh-huh. go there. Or like, say if you have something over your house. Uh-huh. We walk in there, and every eye in that in that in that house is looking at us, like, uh-huh. we're like, dang, hey, like, we trying to fit in, we trying to be cool, we're trying to uh-huh. everybody staring at us, and make okay. it feel some type of way. So like, like, the next time, niggas like, oh, I ain't trying to go over there, man. Everybody yeah. looking at me. Ah, oh, okay. So what, a, what about the stereotype about like how all the athletes, all y'all go for is white women, though? Like, is that? Is oh, that, that's dead. That that's true? not the truth. No. It's no, not well, we love our black women. Trust me. Trust me. If y'all stop <laughs> acting all shady, you know what I'm saying? Maybe some things can happen between How are they you, acting you know? shady? How are they? Man, you see them, you try to talk to them, they automatically, you say hi to them, they think you trying to talk to them. Man, like, that's, no, I just that's my say, story. Too. I just want to say hi. That's, that's, hey, that's, about, I can't be nice. Black women? Even for yeah. us regular civilians, that's yeah, how it be. Like, I don't Walking know what Walking with your nose about. all up. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what I don't know. Especially if you just, like, they fresh or something. Maybe it's just like. It's some of them, not all of y'all. Maybe people be acting like that just like how y'all said, because probably, people probably tell them like oh no don't talk to the athlete because they just don't try to you know what i'm saying maybe that's why they act like that so that's why it'd be like a constant circle of like you know like y'all think people acting stuck up and then they like everybody told me not you know what i'm saying so i think black women just got trust issues that's what i think i think i mean, i think it's all black men i don't think it's just an athlete thing i think it's all black men they think we all coming at them trying to play them and they just might get played, think but they may it. not. Yeah, you know, yeah it's, take it's a, a risk. Take a shot. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's a risk. How like, many risks y'all want somebody to take? It's anybody, a risk. You, know you wouldn't know. How you gonna tell me? <laughs> <laughs> How you gonna tell me? <laughs> no, okay, so what about this? We had this conversation last week. What do you think a gold digger is? What's a gold digger to y'all? Gold digger? Yeah, as far as women. Or a, your opposite partner, what's a gold digger? She only interested in yeah. you for that money. And once she that money gone, gone, she, she gone. gone. Okay, so. Or you benefit her in some way. Yeah. In some way. It could be social power, you know what I'm saying? It could be, it could be that chick who was with Benzino. So it can also be like. Just trying to get on. So it can also be like a gold digger. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so how do y'all feel about prenups? I'm oh, saying, must like, be. It's a must. must. It's a must. <laughs> you got to. So, yeah, it, vice versa. If, it, if okay, a girl so had the money, I, I feel you want. You better sign that money because I'm going to take half. If we don't. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you're saying even if she make more money than you, then you still talking yeah. about a prenup. Yeah. But I mean, she trying to make you sign it, though. I'm going to tell her, like, I thought you loved me. Like, yeah. 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 You're going to do the guilt trip. trip. <laughs> 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 she got okay, the money. So. Hey, that might work, too. That might work. What do you mean? It might work for the girl, too. Yeah. Oh, the guilt? Nah, but I thought you loved me. So why you? I thought it wasn't about the money. That's what I'm saying for mine. Yeah. yeah okay. <laughs> so, like, what's your opinion of, like, the black community in general? Like, the climate at OU? Like, how have y'all felt it? Like, you know, this and... Are, are we united? We divided? People hating on each other? What's, I mean, from the outside looking at it, it looked like the black community close. Like, all, I know, like, all the all the black girls y'all is all friends. Mm-hmm. Most mm-hmm. of the most of the dudes is, is cool. That's what we see. Yeah, so that's what we see. see. Yeah, I don't know what's really going on. Well, yeah. what about, like, how they treat y'all, though? Like, do y'all feel like y'all out on the outside of the black, even though y'all are, like, black students? I feel like or? me and him, like, we know we know a lot of black. We, yeah, y'all you know mix saying? in we, a lot. Y'all we, mix we, we actually a lot try of, compared right. to most people, you yeah. know what I'm saying? So, like, it's different for us, but, like, so you're it. saying that there's some guys that actually yeah. don't try, that are black students that's like kind of like, well, I don't care. Okay, you, you got know some know black people on our team that's not going to mess with no black girl. They're going to talk okay. to white girls. <laughs> okay. That's on the team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah you I think they're from like Seoul and places like that. So, Oklahoma. 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 You got to think. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're not going to mess with them. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 
Yeah, that was the end. All right. <laughs> I was like, man, we good. Yeah, yeah. Right, we're we're gonna, gonna take a quick music break. Oh, we effing up today. Go ahead. And we're gonna take a quick music break, and we'll be right, right back. Two live radio. Uh, we back with our our yeah. dear friends now, Jamil and X. We we've been having a, a great time so far talking about it, but we ain't, you know. You know, they play football, but of course they follow other sports. So, um, mm -hmm. so who are y'all like NBA teams? Who y'all follow? Who you? Wizards. Wizards. The Wizards. Wizards. Uh, Both of y'all the Wizards. We know it. Yeah, we support our home teams. What's their record right now? <laughs> don't win, it's all right. Yeah, 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 don't worry. Don't worry. It's supposed to be the year y'all come and y'all make it back to the playoffs again. So, you know, but yeah. So I, no. I like the Celtics and I like the Heat. <laughs> and I like Why you like the Heat and I like, like the Celtics? Because I like LeBron and I like Dwayne Wade. And I love the Shaq. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> so Shaq used to play for the Heat, oh, yeah. and I like I used to like Tracy McGrady back in the day. He don't play for the Celtics. <laughs> no, 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 no. I just start naming people. Oh, wow. I, I just start naming oh, people after that. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, <laughs> who y'all favorite NBA players? Like who y'all um, really follow? Uh, all time. Or uh, you can say all time or right now. Who you liking? That's tough. I mean, I like LeBron. Yeah, hey, you gotta like LeBron, but man. But Kobe Kobe's just got a killer, that. man. Kobe hey, is. That's my man. I'm a Lakers fan. Uh, Kobe, my nah, man. Nah, but, but we, we, we support our home talents, you know, so it gotta be KD. It gotta be KD, KD and Melo. Hey, KD is balling too right now. He's balling. Did you, speaking yeah. of KD, y'all saw that y'all saw that fight last night? Oh, no, no. It was Gloria Husband and Carrie Hilson boyfriend. Yep. <laughs> and we're gonna get Matt Barnes and Serge <laughs> Barnes for the dudes. Like, you get. I'm just saying, they, they that's how you know, that but so, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Matt Barnes was hollering on Instagram, he said like, smile on my face, hands behind my back, I ain't worried about nothing, basically. But he yeah. tweeted something but else, they like, said somebody, that. They said that Ibaka would have slept him, they, that's what it looked yeah, like. Ibaka from Congo. Yeah. Oh, that means that that mean, that that mean he do some different type fighting, is what y'all yeah, yeah, insinuate. Yeah, yeah. For real. He's about that life. Yeah, he is. <laughs> nah, the cockback did not look strong. Did you but see? But Matt Barnes about that life, too. <laughs> <laughs> the cockback did not look strong. Yeah. I'll show y'all the picture, but go ahead on. Matt Barnes is about that life, too, though. It would have been a good fight. I believe that. Come on, now. Pass that around. People, y'all need to go look on Matt Barnes' Instagram and see how Ibaka cockback. Hey, he's 6'9", 260. That's fine. That's fine. That little check check. Whatever. But he tweeted before that too. He was like, uh, "I ain't never standing up for these." He puts the N word uh -huh. again. He was like, "I'm done." He, he but he deleted the tweet. Oh, for he got too. he just got fined. Oh, he well, he ain't nothing. That's, that's then, a thousand dollars. And then yeah. people would tweet him like, "Don't leave the team. Don't do this. Don't do that. Don't leave." <laughs> he ain't gonna leave the team now. Yeah, but he might. Know. He might not do that no more. He might not jump in no fight now because mm -hmm. he always the first one. Every time, every trip, when someone has teammates, he always the first one mm -hmm. to jump in. But uh, anyway, what team does Nick Young play for? Cause he's dating Iggy now. What team oh, does he play yeah. for? He played. He played for the Lakers. He was a, but he was on y'all team, he right? Yeah, he was. Yeah. He was, he was, he was, he was <laughs> oh, how long have you been playing Wizards. basketball? He been in the league for a minute now. I, I can't. I don't know for sure. Five, he's fifth been, year. Uh, yeah. Five, 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 six, 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 six years. Yeah, yeah he's been so, in the league for a minute. All he do so, is shoot. All he do is shoot. All he do is shoot. That's all he good for. So who's it look like going to the Super Bowl? The Super Bowl. Yeah. What? Y'all <laughs> done. <laughs> <laughs> they done. What you say? They done. Oh, we not done. Uh, what y'all like? Two and six? Ain't the rest? We three and six, but the best team in our, in our division is But hey, four yeah, five. yeah, that's true. The, the we, NFC we East here. is weak right now. It <laughs> is real weak right now. We got the shot. I think the AFC West the best division in football. Man, it is. Boy, true. I, say the, I say the Chiefs going to the Super Bowl. I don't, I don't think they're going to make it. I too think young. I think it's gonna be the Broncos and then I don't know the paying, NFC. Paying too old. I'm gonna say the Seahawks, man. Like they got a strong team. The Seahawks is they, mm -hmm. they good. I like the Seahawks. Yeah, yeah. I like the Seahawks. And the they Niners, defense, I don't yeah. know. We'll see about the Niners. I don't know, man. Yeah. But uh, what about college football? I know y'all like you know you can't. Florida State. Florida State. State it. Yeah, they, they taking it. it. Sorry, man. You think they gonna beat Bama? Yeah, man. You think they gonna beat Bama? Man. Definitely got it. And my man don't get in trouble. Yeah, man, oh, that's, man, you heard about that? that's, yeah, that's yeah. messed up. They man. got they got our man Jameis Winston. He caught up like, well, he didn't get charged with nothing yet, but apparently, allegedly, he was around when it like a rape occurred. You know more yeah, about yeah. what? Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, I, I don't know. I guess, but why she would try to bring it up now when he on top? That's that's I mean, that's all. That's all. It seems like every year, man, and it, it's always a black athlete. Because a few years mm -hmm. back with Cam Newton, like all that came out about him when he was balling. It always like when they when they blowing up Johnny Menzel, like when last yeah. this year, like it's always something that come up. Like, <laughs> These cats, they be targeted. Like they Don't target. look at me. Yeah. I don't know nothing about it. <laughs> have y'all ever been, I guess, you know, I mean, y'all can answer this and not on record, but have y'all ever been in a situation where, you know, a female wanted to, like, not necessarily charge you with, like, sexual assault or nothing, but, like, 
was trying to come at you like that? Was I like, you know, you did something or, you know, trying to like tarnish your reputation? I wouldn't be here if it happened. Yeah. I would. <laughs> Okay. I've probably been in here. I've probably been in, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Man, yeah, but that's uh, not good. You, you brought up the heat earlier, though. So we was, we was talking about, so y'all was, uh -huh. like, was telling us earlier off record like that y'all favorite place, your favorite trip ever was Florida. Like, talk you know, talk more about like that trip. And, oh, and some yeah. other favorite uh, spots y'all been to, just in general, not even with, through football. Bro. Man, the Florida trip was crazy. I don't even know how we made it down there and back. First of all, first of all, we in a rental with no plates. Well, we got no plates. <laughs> don't plates. His license suspended. Vaughn's license suspended. I don't got no license. We just found this out though when we was driving, get pulled over. Oh, um, well, y'all like unpaid tickets or something? Or man, they ain't even tell us. Like they just say, yeah, your shit. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> in South Carolina, they making racks like that. In South Carolina, nah, man, they, 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 they travel they everywhere. Go everywhere. Oh, oh, okay. Oh yeah. man, South Carolina. Yeah. So is that Tata? Tell me, is, is Scripper, is that like the, the new occupation for women? Is that like the... I mean, I don't know. The, I'm not saying, you know, from experience. I'm just saying... No, like, I mean, what do you that, mean? Is that the new occupation? Is that... I'm Let's saying, about like, occupations you, know how, like, you know how, like, Forbes be listing, like, top new occupations for young, yeah, like, black well, females? Like, I'm saying Scripper's the, might be see, on I'm, there. I'm not, I'm not going to do young black males like that, because I'm down for the cause. But uh, I could do y'all like uh, that, but okay, I'm not. All right. And no, that's not the occupation. <laughs> I'm saying I'm not gonna. I ain't gonna go back and forth about black this, black that. I don't care. No, that's not what black women are I mean, doing. Not yet. I mean, no comment. There's nothing wrong with it's it. There's nothing wrong with it. I mean, whatever it's, you do to get your Would you friend. marry a stripper? No. I would not marry a stripper. I said, I agree with it. let's I talk to the other one. If T-Pain could do it, I could do it. If T-Pain? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Did he, he really got marry him? No, T-Pain did not really marry I swear him. he married with a stripper. His ex, his wife was a, was a stripper. Really? Man, that, that, like that girl that. was not a stripper. Did you see his behind him? You're just making but this up. I'm serious. <laughs> I'm so serious. <laughs> okay, T-Pain not wrong, man. though. Like. Song, man, if he got millions of dollars and you can still wipe a stripper, so it, well, it's yeah. something about it. <laughs> <laughs> the stripper ain't getting him his money. I'm she saying, making, but you she know, might like, make more money. Some you know? strippers like, okay, do y'all think Amber Rose is pretty? Yes. Yeah. So you wouldn't consider dating and... and but she an ex-stripper, though. That's, that's fine. No, she no, used it, to be. It what just I'm depends what type, of, what type of... What caliber you are of stripper. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, like, you stripper, <laughs> like... Uh, if a little ratchet yeah, joint, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. But if so you, it doesn't matter if she's taking off her stadium or something. Hey, I heard about stadium. I ain't been yet, but I heard good things about in D.C., right? Yeah, in D.C. Okay, so you're saying... It don't matter that she get naked. It matters if she getting paid more to do it. Like like some some strip clubs you don't get all completely like naked. like the the ratchet strip clubs like what, like Baz and Crew around all we got strip club called Baz and Crew. Man, I would touch never, a girl. I, would not I don't even get, get, like get a girl a dollar. Now, so. <laughs> yeah, cool. we had a strip club that closed down in Cleveland, and it was it was a nice one though. So what what was was that? Again? Was Talks again? Talks about Yeah. I, I believe, I, yeah. yeah it's, it's another one. Uh, it's another one. It's plenty. Uh, the, the lounge, Christie's. Christie's. Color Castle. Color Castle. Color Castle. Color Castle. Christie's, um, Larry Flint's yeah, Players Larry Club. Flint's Club. Hustlers Club. Hustlers, Hustlers Club. Club. Yeah, yeah, Players Club. <laughs> Hustlers Club. Yeah, I went to Larry Flint's there. actually for my birthday before, and it was too classy. Too classy. <laughs> it was too classy. Too classy. It was one white woman on stage. And some white men sitting back drinking scotch. And Yo, that's like, exactly how it is. It was classy. It was quiet. Uh, like those type then, of strip clubs, you can eat food there. Like, I think you know. all Larry Flint's is like that because we went to one of our Shreveport too. Oh, you know, we had our last bowl. Sure, they had some ratchet joints in there though. I mean, but it was it was, it was probably very classy though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> some ratchet. <Okay. laughs> they did though. All right, so we can play some ratchet music then. Let's go into a break and we'll be right back. Okay, two live radio. We are back and on a break. We were talking about. I was asking them, because you know the holidays and stuff coming up, I love so the holidays, is, and so I was trying is. to ask them, like, what are their holidays like? So, do y'all have to stay at the school? Like, how do y'all holidays go? We be here, or wherever we got or a game. Or a ball right? game, or we'll never go nowhere for holidays. I ain't been at Christmas in, like, three Thanksgiving, years. Thanksgiving, four. Christmas, or Thanksgiving, or nothing? None of yeah. that, man. We never get to spend time with our family on, like, those type of holidays. Only thing we get is, is New Year's. New Year's. Yeah, yeah, we but I'm sure y'all ain't really trying to kick it with y'all family on New Year's. Not to say, you know, you don't love your family. Y'all trying but, to... You know. I mean, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, spend, I spend the actual day with them. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> first. Yeah, first. So, yeah. first. So tell me, so did y'all ever... Were y'all ever at a location where it was like, um, y'all were doing football stuff during the holidays? Yeah. Like what? Uh, I remember we had a where? game... Uh, 
Shreveport. Yeah, Shreveport. Our last ball game. We was down in Louisiana. How was Shreveport? Uh, not not a lot going on down there? Ratchet City. Ratchet City? Nothing. Ratchet City uh, Nothing there. Nothing at Ratchet all. Ratchet City. Like, we what? just sat in a hotel. Tell us that story you told uh, <laughs> on break when you was about y'all right. walking around the city. And I mean, so y'all so saying it's real, it's, it's real crazy down there as far as like the crime. Yeah, yeah you yeah, can't yeah, go yeah. nowhere because of that. Like, like, like oh. it was a club. We it was limited. It was, it was a club like right across the street from our hotel. And like the first day, like the first thing they told us, the police officer came in there. He was like, hey, hey, you guys can't go to the Coco's Lounge, you know, it's a dangerous area. And we like, damn, like, that's just where all the locals just told us to go. Like, because we was outside yeah. chilling with the locals. They was like, yeah, man, y'all got to go to Coco, man. We're <laughs> live at that. They was trying to set y'all up, man. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, nah, for real, for they was telling us, like, man, of course they're going to tell all the out-of-towners that don't yeah. go there because y'all mm -hmm. really don't know nothing. But if y'all go in there, act cool, you know what I'm saying? It's like everywhere else you go. Yeah, but yeah. So y'all was walking around at night one night, and what? And something happened. I mean, it really wasn't even at night. It, it wasn't was at like, night. This is it was broad it was daylight. broad daylight. It was broad daylight. Broad daylight. Broad daylight. Okay. So we had we had walked to we had walked because it's like a little shopping area outlet place down there. So we walked over there, you know, looking around, see what they got. Okay. So we on the way back. We got me. So uh, me, him, and then uh, Daz and Greg. Little Daz and Greg was with us. Uh -huh. So we walking up the street. We see a car coming down the road, light green. Uh -huh. All of a sudden, he just slammed on his brakes, stopped in the middle of the road. We like, damn, uh -huh. like, what's he doing? So all of a sudden we see we see the trunk pop open. We see the trunk pop open and then he he start going to the trunk looking at us. We like, oh, oh man. he had a strap on him or something. Yeah. We were just wanted like, <laughs> look, I was scared. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I froze. Hey, I, ain't, yeah. I froze. Like all you see is a a, a car stopping and a, and a <laughs> crazy looking young guy. How about the whip? Like he got like he about to do something. Mm. And he know we not God, from there. Like, we got on mm. we got on green green beans. You know our travel <laughs> seat. We, our travel suit. So we look mm. all crazy. We, they know we're not from out there, so when he pulled over, Dang, man, so they ain't know what to do. Down there. <laughs> oh, yeah. it was, yeah. Maybe green the color, the color not to wear around there. Yeah, maybe they saw money. So do y'all, y'all have Twitter and in, I mean and Instagrams? What's y'all Instagram names for the people that want to see what y'all talking about? Uh, my Instagram uh, underscore Zay Savage twenty three, I think. Underscore Zay Savage twenty three, and what's yours? Uh, mine's is a meal ticket, the E with a three. <laughs> <laughs> and we got, we got a two live radio Instagram. That's two live radio, no spaces, no underscores. And we got a two live Twitter account where y'all can tweet like discussion topics or guests you think we should have on the show, um, song requests. What else? You could tweet us questions we could ask guests like mm -hmm. upcoming for that week or whatever or like during when the show airing because you know we pre-record like you mm -hmm. can tweet your opinions of like oh I ain't like what Jamil said this week or something and yeah. state your case for why you ain't like it or something <laughs> like you know it's an open forum like one kid just uh, add us at you know 2 Live Radio just straight T-O-O-L-I-V-E radio so and also again about the the Dean's List tour that we was talking about last week those auditions are still coming up. They run from November 21st to the 22nd from 6 to 9 and Baker 240. The contestants need to have full performance. If you have a band, bring a band. If you got hype men, um, and it's an open audition. And they can you, bring their set then? I they know can they can bring, bring the yeah, set they out can and they can stage. like... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like if that's about their performance, yeah. You know how like when Biggie did that performance yeah. when he like, they act like they was fighting and yeah. then they wasn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, like yeah. That, that could be somebody's <laughs> stuff. And so you can come on both days. So if you get a bad critique on the first day, you can come back the second day and try it again. And this is for the Dean's List concert. And it's going to be scouts like BET, MTV, and Def Jam there. So if you're an artist, you need to check that out. Get and them bars together. Get them bars yeah, together. Yeah, get them bars. You rap, don't you? Uh, I retire, you know, okay. I retire my baby What you saying on your end too? Yeah, I'm about to make a rap song. Uh, if I make it, I can bring a hit, right? Yeah. That new hit, you have to get the problem. Jay Savage is coming. Uh. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I think I'm joking. Yeah, okay. Uh, <laughs> and BSCPB, um, we have So You Think You're Famous coming up. You know, we do that Sibs weekend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, like, you kind of, like, um, do a performance, a famous performance, and you copy the video. And then you get like it's judges and you get crowd like participation and crowd votes for who wins. But sign up sheets and apps are in the multicultural center in Baker, and the deadline to sign up is December fourth. I'm gonna be easy. So, I'm gonna get that. Judge and if we don't get a lot of acts to sign up, we're gonna have to do Apollo, and Apollo is just as fun because you get to boo people. Uh, sort of. So whichever yeah. one works. 
Yeah. And, um, but we want to thank our guests this week, uh, Jamil yeah, and, and for Xavier, coming out, for coming man. through. Sure no yeah, yeah. And, and be sure to support the y'all, y'all next game next Tuesday, right? The Bobcat Blackout, yeah, it's right? it's home, too. It's oh, home, Bobcat too. Bobcat Blackout. Yeah, yeah, I've home. never been to one. Who y'all playing next week? Who's that going to be? Kent State. Kent State. So we're playing State. Kent. So, make so sure the Blackout games is, like, big, though, Yeah, it's it? big. It's live. Yeah. It, it, what it, goes on there? I mean, it's a game. What you mean? I mean, like, don't people do something there? N- no, we're all black. We're oh. all black. Yeah, that's and the stuff going in the dark. And chill. I don't think so. <laughs> I mean, no. Nah. School board. Uh, it's on TV though, ain't it? Uh, no. The blackout game. I think it's on ESPN too. What am I? Th- that's what I'm saying. But I don't oh, think it's glow in the dark though. I don't know about oh, that. One. that Especially with the lights and everything. <laughs> yeah. I never I been, but I thought if it was gonna be black, you need some light. Whatever. No, they just wear all black. That's all. Okay. Also, uh, on Wednesday. Uh, they get the ride along pre screening. Like, you could get. Ride along pre screen. That's Kevin Hart's new movie, yeah, right? Well, I didn't Cube, even know he was coming out. It's supposed to be coming out in January, actually. But we oh. we fortunate enough. Is this that a scam? Because they emailing I, everybody talking about they can get free tickets. That's what the, I'm saying. I don't know if it's a show. scam or not. I'm promoting that. that. It's going to be at the, uh, that theater <laughs> on Court Street. Uh, oh, Athena's, Athena, yeah, whatever, Athena, yeah. I think. Yeah, so y'all can go to that. I'm going to oh, be in there. Man. If it's a scam, then they pull me. That last Kevin Hart wasn't funny. Which one? Which one was the last one? That last one, one that Deerbra joke wasn't funny to me. The Deerbra joke? What? Yeah, that last Kevin Hart. You must have didn't see it. That's how bad I it probably seen it was. Yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You I, didn't hear nothing about it. No, nah, I didn't yeah. hear nothing about that. Well. His movies be usually funny, though, so it should be straight. <laughs> I doubt it. But thank y'all for listening this week. <laughs> thank y'all for listening this week. We will be back next week. Same time, same place. We'll holler. Peace. <laughs>